Now that we know a bit more about the dihedral group, let's go ahead and do a few exercises to show that if you take any r to the a, r to the b, it's always the same as this formula for the exponent. Here's a significantly trickier one, which is to suppose that the order of the group is even. Let k be half the size of the group. Show that r to the k commutes with every element of the dihedral group. Moreover, show that the only thing that commutes with every element of this group is r to the k and the identity. Now find the set of all symmetries of the tetrahedron and also for a cube. So popping up into three dimensions, but with a lot of the same ideas, you should find that for the tetrahedron, there are 12 symmetries in total. And for the cube, there are 24. And finding all of them is not a simple task. Now that we've had a pretty decent look at the dihedral group, we're just going to do a tour through a bunch of important examples of groups.